Welcome back to Random Romania. If you watched our last video, you'll know we're building an off-grid cabin. Today we got the solar power equipment turn up for the cabin. And uh, these are the solar panels you can see here. I was going to do a voice explanation of them, but actually it's quite lengthy. So I'm going to write that in the description below. So for the information about the solar panels themselves, look in the description. As for the rest of the setup, I'm going to explain now. Okay, so now we've come inside. This is the battery pack for the solar panels. Inside this, it has a thing called the battery management system. There's some safety devices to make sure it's cut off because these things, they're a fire risk if not handled properly. This basically is a battery, two battery packs pulled from a Tesla car. So they've come from a, a salvage battery. That will probably run a typical domestic house for some hours during the day when people are using things. Here's the inverter. This is what takes uh, deals with the inputs from the solar panels, from the battery and from the mains power grid if you connect it, if you want to charge the batteries with the grid. What I've got is a little generator, which is, is quite an interesting thing, which I'll explain in a bit. Now, if you look at this, it's plugged into the network here, my network, and this is on my Wi-Fi in my house. And this shows you what's coming in from the panels at the moment. I've had that up to sort of 1600 watts. Right now, the clouds are in front of the panel, so, but you can still see you're still getting 500 watts, which is uh, enough to charge the battery reasonably quickly. This is what the load is coming out, which is just what's running in the caravan. This is what will come off the power grid. And this is the battery level here. And so you can you can also access in this information online as well. It's possible to connect this up so you can remotely see what's going on and control it. So we go outside and look at the generator now. So if I start this generator up, which is gonna make a little bit of noise, but I want to do it just to demonstrate the point. Of course, it's not going to start when I'm trying to show someone. Oh, that's because I haven't turned it on. <laughs> right, now it's going to start. Right, so now I've connected the generator and the generator is adjust the throttle setting itself depending on the load. So because the sun's gone in at the moment and this is only getting 500 watts off the solar panels, now the generator is putting 1300 watts in. So, for example, if you're in a house and you need a lot of energy suddenly, you can um, just start your generator and run it while you need it and then stop it again. So, for example, if you were running a, a washing machine, a dishwasher and a water heater at the same time and you knew you needed to do that and you couldn't just run them one after the other, you could just start the generator for a bit. So just having this inverter and the battery and a generator without the solar panels is super useful because generators on them, their own, they don't like it when you suddenly demand a lot of a lot of power in the space of a second, whereas the inverter will deal with that easily. So there's one thing that I wanted to mention, which I think is really important because depending on this kind of configuration, you know, you could go with less solar panels, perhaps a slightly smaller inverter, slightly smaller battery, but this is some thousands of euros worth of equipment probably between four and 6,000, depending on exactly what you buy, something like this. I don't have the exact prices yet because I borrowed most of this equipment from a friend, but um, that's what your costs are likely to be. So what's interesting about it is that if you make a bunch of cabins or houses next to each other where you're sharing with five or six other people, then the economies of scale make a whole lot more sense because the bigger these systems get, the cheaper per house by a significant margin they get to use. So that's quite an important factor. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll be back very soon with another update on the cabin build. And we're going to uh, set these solar panels and the rest of the equipment up properly and make a mount for the solar panels and probably a little space underneath the solar panels to store this equipment properly. Anyway, bye for now and we'll see you in the next uh, video.